Who can realize the self? You can realize the self only through Dnana. <laughs> only when somebody, when Guru points out to you, unchanging reality in you. Otherwise you cannot recognize, everybody mixes up. The self and the non-self. Self, I and the me is constantly mixed up by people. Okay, by logic you cannot find out the reality. Even however intelligent is the person, still he will still confuse I with the me. Only a proper right way of teaching by a master based on Vedanta can point out the unreal, uh, un unreality from the reality, from the changing, from unchanging to you. And, okay, I understood I am the unchanging reality. How do I benefit? Oh, you can benefit. Make your mind a little bit peaceful. Make your mind silent. Lot of peace is reflected in your mind. But that peace doesn't belong to the mind. Peace is belong to the self. So recognize yourself. Okay. So this is only a person who has made his mind calm. And my understood what is the self through Atma Dnana can realize the peace. Peaceful nature. There is no body for this. Okay. You say I. She says I. And he says I. And all of them are referring to unchanging I. That changing I is Timeless and spaceless. It's not confined to your body. It's almost like a space. The space within this room and space outside the room is same. Even though it appears in this room. The I is appearing in your body, your, in your mind as Chidabhasa. And I is there everywhere. That I is not dependent on time, not dependent on space. So because, and because of that it's infinite. Even though it's infinite, even though it's separate, it appears to be constantly changing. Why? Because of Upadi, the body and mind. Oh, I am walking, I never walks. <laughs> I am talking, I never talks. The I is the unchanging reality in all your experience. But experience you are superimposing on the self. Okay? So this upadi or conditioning of the self by your experiences is causing problem. Now you have to understand who is your real I? Is your body real I? Your mind real I? All these are contextual. If you think your body is real I, then one day body will die. But the I doesn't die, the existence. The I doesn't change. You never be I, that I never becomes old. So you have to depend, you have to, which is your real I? The unchanging I or changing I? Always when you talk, you are changing about unchanging guy. But you are always confusing with the changing guy. Right? So, reduce this confusion. Understand who you really are. And such a person becomes free from all kinds of suffering. He becomes free from all kinds of suffering. And he becomes a Jeevan Mukta. One who is liberated while he is alive.